Last week, I camped overnight on the haunted island of Pulau Ubin, and I had probably the most compelling evidence thus far in my ghost hunting series. I think my balls have shrunk to a non-existent state. Pot. Pot? Ram pot? Yeah. You want to scare me? Holy shit. Oh yeah, I hear music. Okay, let's get out of here. Yeah, it scared me so much that my cameraman and I had to leave even before we finished filming. That's a first. Our expedition began with a bum boat ride to a remote island northeast of Singapore. There have been countless reports of hauntings and eerie encounters by campers who claim that something was off about this island. For example, this girl who was recently reported seeing figures staring at her from a tree in the middle of the night. What the hell? These voyeuristic ghosts? But before we begin, shout out to our Sneaky Society executives. Thank you to Cohen and Nidelius for being Sneaky Society executives. This investigation is dedicated to you. Thank you for supporting. If you guys would like to support the channel, check out our channel memberships. We have exclusive content there behind the scenes. Let's continue our investigation. Ooh. Upon setting up camp, we started our descent into the depths of this haunted island. Our first stop, the German Girl Shrine. Legend has it that there used to be a German girl who was living on this island with her family, who were plantation owners here in Pulau Ubin. During the First World War, the British started rounding up the German plantation owner and his family. Frightened, the German girl tried to run for her life, but she fell to her death from a cliff. The locals on the island found her body and erected a shrine for her. More recently, a chilling video of a security officer on the island captured what seemed to be a woman in an olden day dress. Is this actual footage of the fabled German girl? Or was there a Halloween party on this island? And why wasn't I invited? We are here at the German girl shrine. I just arrived. We actually literally just cycled in the pitch blackness. It was total darkness. Honestly, the journey here itself was quite creepy. But uh, I'm glad we made it to the German girl shrine. As you can see, it's just right behind us. Yeah, I can see candles inside. There are candles inside burning. So let's go have a closer look. Yeah, there's a sign over here. It says, Bidadari Yati Kakak German. Some joysticks have been planted. Oh, it just suddenly got very windy. Oh, it's chilly here. I think before we begin, I would like to give an offering first. I believe the shrine is inside, so let's see if we can actually go in. Yeah, it can't be accessed. It, it's locked. I wonder if they lock it all the time, 24-7, or is it because it's at night, so they locked it. I've seen videos of the shrine inside, and there were a lot of offerings. People gave the German girl a lot of offerings, like lipstick, makeup, whatsoever. Brought a lipstick. Maybe I'll just put it somewhere here. I hope, I hope that's fine. German girl, this is for you if you're here. Me no disrespect, girl, put it here. This is for you. You can see glimpses of it inside. Come here. You can see the candles burning inside and I do see some offerings. There's quite a bit of lights in there. I heard something fall. Let's go have a closer look. Yeah, I'm not sure why that tree over there has flags. If any of you guys know the reason why there are flags on those trees, please let me know. Let me know in the comments. I read every single one of your comments. <laughs> More um, offerings, joysticks. There are some wordings on this rock. Hi, is there anything here? Hi, we mean you no harm. Just passing by. Just wanted to come say hi. Hello. It was at quite a solid three bar just now. Just all of a sudden, it started spiking. Oh, hi, welcome back. Let's go take a seat. I think I will set the rampart down on that table. Oh, what? Three bars immediately, right after I turned it on. And... Look, it's super far away from me. Is it right beside me? Anything here? Hi, is there any... Hello? Oh, you're right beside me? Are you sitting right beside me? Are you the German girl? If you would like to speak to us or make your presence known or anything, you can come to us, this EMF reader, if there's anything here. German girl? Whoa. Hi, welcome. Thanks for joining us. Oh, you're sitting right beside me. Could you go over to that ramp pod over there? Maybe make it sound off if there's anything here. Well, imagine if the ramp pod goes off now, I'll be f I'll be shooketh. Okay, you can go further away from the EMF reader for a no, or you can come closer to this to this EMF reader for a yes. Okay, are you the German girl? Two. You mean you know? Whoa, four. He went to four for a bit. Okay, I, I guess you are the German girl? Are you a female? If you are, come close to this EMF reader. Are you a male? Yes, four bars. It's a male. Okay, are you the German girl? If you are, come closer. If you are not, leave. 
it's not the German girl. Okay, I'm just gonna put the EMF reader right here. If there's anything here, you said you were a man, right? A male spirit? My guy, my dude, did you die here on Pulau Ubin? No. If there's anything here... Okay, right after I said that, it spiked. Okay guys, so I got this new device. It detects the changes in the environment and it generates words based off those changes. Oh, you're excited about this device? Whatever, Siri, are you excited about this? I'm quite excited about it too. We decided to take a short break because we were being eaten alive by mosquitoes. Like, I'm, I'm not even kidding. I had more than 20 bites all around my body. But anyway, yeah. shortly after, this is when things started to take an eerie turn. The EMF is so sensitive here. Like, it keeps spiking. Oh, fuck. Huh. Oh, goosebumps. No, I think I thought I saw a shadow apple. Okay. <laughs> but it could be my... Because I'm looking at this light too much. I thought I saw a shadow like just hover across this, beyond this chair. Hmm, yeah, I don't know, it feels weird. The EMF just keeps going off. I think there's something here, if there's anything. It's just chilling beside me. I've never seen it like that before. It's... look. Okay, so I'm gonna try this, uh, the Para Ace. Alright. Alright. Do you have a name? Penny. Penny? Its name is Penny, but I thought it'd say it was a guy. Maybe it's the German girl, I don't know. Are you the German girl? Yes? No? Did you die here on this island? I keep hearing tr things rustling at the back, in the trees. Farmers. 18 years. Farmers, 18 years? Roadway. Roadway? I mean, the German girl's family were plantation owners. Glass. That's something like farmers. Glass. It's going a bit crazy right now. Befriend. Befriend? You want to be my friend? Do you want to be my friend? If you want to be my friend, turn off this torchlight. Could? You could be my friend? Kathy. Who's Kathy? Order. Order? Send. Order sent. Order sent by the British. 40 years. 40 years? Control. The remote is going off. For the first time, it's going off. Are you the one speaking to us? Penny, is that you? Penny or Kathy? 13. 13? Pot. Pot? Ram pot? You're the one that turned off the pot? Oh. Turn on the pot? Call? Were you calling me to the pot? Heard. You heard me calling you? Yeah. You want to scare me? Scientist. You, you think I'm a scientist? Oh. Holy shit. This device said it was calling me to the rampart and right after it said that the rampart went off. That gave me a little bit of chills. <laughs> Let's see what it wants to tell us. Are you calling my attention to something? Do you want to tell me something? Tell us something? And it's gone now. There's nothing here. The para device. Oh. Oh. Just when I said there's nothing here. Okay, so there is something here. Yes? Okay. You want to communicate with us through the rampart? Happen. Oh, you just suddenly started speaking. I'm quite impressed that the rampart went off. This is the first time ever that the rampart actually went off. Yeah, it seems like the EMF is the most sensitive thing here. That and the Para Ace device, but I'm not sure about the Para Ace device. It's quite random. I'm not sure. It could just be spitting out random words, right? But I think what was funny was when it said pot and calling, the rampart immediately sounded off. So that was quite peculiar. I heard something do like. Let me try to reply. Nothing? Okay. I initially wanted to end the night right here because I was happy that the rampart finally went off. But a local on the island told me about a cemetery nearby and at the very last minute, we decided to go check it out. We were met with this blockade on the road but we saw tracks around it so I assumed it was safe to enter. Yeah, I'm not sure if I regret going in there because this is when I had my spookiest encounter yet. We are currently in the cemetery at Pulau Ubin. Uh, it's right over there. Not sure if you guys can see, but yeah, there are graves around there. I'm gonna do an isolation challenge first. I'm gonna walk in alone by myself. This is only for channel members. Okay, be right back. 
Okay, that was the isolation challenge. Now it's time for you guys to come in. Just turned on my EMF reader. Uh, nothing here. Let's keep going. Star, watch your step, because uh, okay. some of the graves is like on the floor, and so don't step on it. Okay. Yeah. As you can see, there's a grave right there. And it's a Chinese cemetery, or at least that's what it appears to be, because it's mostly Chinese inscriptions. Huh? Where? Yeah, more graves right there. More graves over there. Oh yeah, I hear music. Yeah. I thought we were quite far away from everything. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, it's like... So yeah, we just heard like music nearby, which is a bit weird because we are quite far off from everything. Maybe the ghosts are having a party somewhere. <laughs> Alright, this is a big grave. Look. Huge, grandiose grave. Must be someone important. EMF isn't reacting to anything yet. Nothing here. There's an even bigger grave right in front. Big, grandiose grave. Must be someone even more important here. There's a small grave right here too. Not sure why. It's quite an odd position for a grave. Maybe it's... The trees just started rustling, but I don't feel any wind. There's a lot of rustling. It's still going on. Sounds like it's raining, but it's not. Um, anyway, yeah, there's a small grave here. Maybe it's this guy, this person's spouse, husband, wife. May you rest in peace, both of you. Rest. Yeah, I think that's about it. Lah. I just... Yeah, I hear music too. Uh, okay, let's get out of here. Can keep the camera? Okay, sorry guys, had to get out of there quick. This is the first time that we ran away from a spooky place. Uh, I don't know why, just all of a sudden it felt weird. Just something told me to go and leave immediately. And the triggering point was when we heard someone singing. Or at least that's what we thought. Star, you heard someone singing, right? Yeah, it was like a, it's like a guy's voice. Yeah, like a guy's voice. My logical side was telling me that maybe it was someone playing music. But the thing is, we went in quite deep into the cemetery. Like the road was quite far in. It was a bit weird that music was playing from that spot. I apologize guys that we had to leave there quick. We didn't even take out the spirit box. The vibes just felt weird. Star, my cameraman also mentioned that while cycling in. You felt cold, right? You felt the air turn cold. Yeah, the moment we enter the barricade and a few meters in, it felt, it felt colder. We met some people fishing on our way back and I heard them playing music on the radio so I asked them whether they were singing. Here's a clip for you guys. Oh, sorry, you're not playing music, right? We're all playing music or singing? No. Why? Okay. <laughs> so we were going inside the cemetery just now to explore a bit and I, we heard something singing. So they said that they weren't singing. Maybe they were, but they forgot, I don't know. But even so, even if it was them singing, they had to be singing pretty damn loud for us to be able to hear it all the way inside the cemetery. To elaborate further, this was where we were at the cemetery, and this is where we met those lovely people fishing by the bridge. That's around 800 meters, so I think it's quite unlikely that the music we heard was from them. Unless there was someone fishing near Kat Kat Quarry, which we weren't aware of. Yeah, I, I don't know guys, my only regret was not going closer 
similar to the source of the singing and actually investigating. Too bad my balls shrank to the size of a bubble tea pearl. I promise I won't chicken out the next time. And thanks for watching, consider subscribing or joining our channel membership if you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you guys soon, I'm gonna go contemplate the existence of life now, bye!